Hi, I'm Jeff with West Guy Designs. Here we have a Tundra off-road uh, with the factory suspension that we've added our preload lift kit to. There's been a lot of concerns, a lot of questions. People say, ah, oh, spacer lift, this and that, and, and, and it's not really your traditional spacer lift that everybody talks about. If you look right down in here, a traditional spacer lift takes the shock assembly and it moves the whole shock assembly down, which then what happens is when the control arm comes up, the shock assembly bottoms out before the bump stop does. So now it bottoms out prematurely, all the weight is drawn down onto the shock assembly, which is not designed to hold the weight. So what happens is it causes them to break off down here in the bottom of the shaft. What we've done is we've designed a collar that puts preload on the spring and it works just like a coilover does, puts more preload on the spring, still has the factory travel of the suspension. The suspension, when it fully collapses, still uses the factory bump stop to bump out on the suspension, and it doesn't take all the force here on the strut. The other nice thing about this kit is, the way we designed it is, it helps to get rid of a lot of the dipping in the front of the vehicle when you stop hard at a traffic light. Uh, it, because these things, they, the way they set them up is super soft, so they dip really hard in the front on, on a stop. The other thing that it helps to get away with is, the side to side body roll that the vehicle has um, in maneuvering or around corners, it helps to eliminate a lot of that, that body roll. Um, so again, this is not your traditional spacer lift that pushes the shock assembly down. We're using our preload collar that makes it work just like a coilover does, but we don't put any adjustment in it. It's already preset the way we designed it. So on this particular truck, we outfitted it with a set of uh, 35 inch on an 18 inch wheel. And you can see we didn't have to do a body mount chop. We were able to remove the mud flaps, front and rear, and we were able to get it to clear without rubbing. Thank you again for watching.